Pisces, Elsie here to do your reading. I am here to do your reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And uh, I am here to use these cards here, which are uh, the Divine Oracle. We're going to ask for two cards, two cards for the overall energy of this reading, please, Spirit, for, um, <clears throat> for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I am a Pisces Moon, guys, so I'm part of your tribe. And uh, let's get two cards here, please. Two cards, please. These ones have really been thinking today, been thinking hard. And one more, please. It means that I can't get a card to fly. There we go. Okay. And actually, to be honest, this one has been coming up quite a bit. So we start with face your shadow. What does that mean? That means it's time to do some work based on the things that you don't really like about you. And um, whether you have to forgive yourself, whether you have to face yourself, um, it is up to you to be able to change your shadow side. So um, really you shouldn't have anything. You know, it would be great if you didn't have anything that you were feeling bad about or didn't want to show or wanted to keep hidden away. But when you face your shadow side, you look at things about you that perhaps aren't the best things about you and you're willing to change those things. And so you go to spirit with those or you go into manifestation mode and you ask for help in changing these things that are your dark side, the things that you don't necessarily like about you. And then we have make necessary sacrifices. So these cards go together, really. Make necessary sacrifices to face your shadows. And sometimes that is going to be um, things that you're giving up, things that you need to sacrifice in order to be the person that you know that you can be or that you've always wanted to be. Okay, so now we are going to the... Um, uh, the Oracle of the Fairies. We're going to ask for advice for uh, this overall energy of this reading. And just needing one card, please. Inspiration. There we go. I'm just going to put these over here. <clears throat> inspiration. It says, be prepared. As soon as you receive a visit from a fairy of inspiration, come dusk or dawn, she'll call at any time. So you have some inspiration on the way, Pisces. Inspiration about what we don't know. Um, <clears throat> but you will be inspired to do something, to move, to speak to someone. <clears throat> when I say move, I don't mean from your home. I mean, uh, to move in your life, to make a move. Maybe uh, you're going to take a risk. Um, maybe you are going to... Um, uh, maybe you'll take a risk. Maybe you will uh, be inspired to open up a business you've always wanted to open up. Or you'll be inspired to get that job you've always wanted or ask that person for the date. That person that you've always wanted to ask on a date. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've boxed them already. Okay, I'm just going to see, make sure that we have nothing else boxed. There's one. I've been boxing cards all night, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I've already prayed over these cards. I'm just going to ask for um, the highest good of the messages for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, the sign of Pisces, please. If I could have my angels and guides present, as long, uh, along with Archangel Michael and Archangel Shemuel. And there's another card boxed. Okay, so we're just going to cut these here. And we are going to go into the nine card draw. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If I can have nine cards, please. If you can throw nine cards for us, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Wands, the Star, Star is Major Arcana, three more cards please, three more cards, we have the King of Swords, two more, two more King of Swords, two more after the King of Swords please. Two more cards. Okay, that won't go back in, so we'll do the Six of Swords and the Five of Cups. And what do we have on the bottom? 
looks like we have the Ace of Wands. So something that you're really passionate about. Um, the person that I am connecting with is passionate about something. Um, passionate about perhaps um, coming into some money or maybe passionate about love. Um, but it looks like it is the start of new passion. All right, let me get these up here so you can see them. I'm going to take a drink because I have been coughing through all the last um, readings I've been doing here. All right, let me take a look here. So this is past, present, future. Um, I can also read them this way, past, present, future. The uh, um, This is about two months ago, uh, two months in the past. So this is June, July, August, September, October, November. And uh, so we're reading in close to the end of the year. Just be reminded that all cards um, that are on the table, you know, those those energies change from day to day. So um, I am uh, the stamp I will put on these on this is that it's till October th or August 31st, but it could sort of happen before, during, or after that. And uh, if you are someone who is new to my channel, thank you for coming by. I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button, maybe give me a thumbs up on one of my videos, and uh, that'll help me be seen, and so we can um, we can get our numbers up here and be a bigger group so I can continue offering free um, free samples of my work here and if you have been here before and you come back every month thank you for your support I really appreciate you okay so what I like to do first is go to the heart of the matter and in the heart of the matter for you Pisces it looks like uh, the seven of wands the seven of wands is about um, being defensive really um, you know these are uh, these are wands, and wands are action in the tarot. Um, and these um, these wands that are down here are kind of people that are trying to take actions against you. And whatever is behind this door is precious to you, and you are protecting it. So you're becoming very defensive about the things people are doing to you, um, the actions people are taking against you. So something is going on um, in the mix here, Pisces, um, that you are feeling defensive about. So hopefully we can find out more about that as we read. All right, let me take a look here. I feel some worry from you, Pisces. So I feel, I feel some worry. We have the Queen of Cups up in the corner here. And um, this particular depiction of the Queen of Cups, as you take a look at her, you can see that she does look a little bit worried. Um, she looks a little bit worried. She sees the dark storm clouds coming in. She is, you know, holding out her cup of emotion. She's hoping that, um, that this emotion is going to be able to hold off this, this storm that is coming in. I feel like you feel, um, Pisces, like there is something coming. Um, you feel something coming, but you don't know what it is. Um, it could have something to do with a decision you're not making. You could have been making this, um, you could be making, um, you could be making this harder on yourself than it needs to be. Um, and what I see here is there's some worry because there is a decision that's coming up that perhaps you don't want to make. And the reason I think that that's true is because the eyes are covered here. Um, now the swords, they're crossed to save the heart, right? To cover the heart. Um, and the heart really wants to um, speak with spirit. And why I see, why I feel these eyes are covered is because you don't want to make a decision that is coming up or you didn't want to make a decision that was coming up in the past. So uh, back in the summertime here. So you felt something coming. You felt a f something brewing. You look a little bit stressed out and it, it might be because you weren't sure of a decision that you had to make. You felt like this thing was going to um, sort of barge in and change your life, change the way things are. Um, the Knight of Swords to me is um, is more of a um, a surprise. The Knight of Swords isn't really very articulate. And the Knight of Swords, although being swords, communication and connection, you know, the Knights aren't really very articulate. And so he kind of barges in and, and um, you know, blurts out the information at hand. But I feel like you get surprised by whatever is said here. And hopefully we'll find out more about that as the... Um, as the uh, as the reading goes on here. So what I see here in the current energy is I see that there is a king of pentacles here and um, the king of pentacles is someone who is financially stable and 
although quite charitable, making sure everyone in the kingdom has what they need, um, it seems as though that you're feeling very defensive about the, the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is looking at the Seven of Wands, wondering what the heck is going on here, and wondering why there is so much commotion here. So I feel as though when I look at this at this card here, I feel as though there's something behind the open door, as you can see it there. You can see it right there. The open door is there, and I feel as though there's something precious behind the door, or there is a group of, um, perhaps a group of, or um, maybe one or two bad memories, memories that you feel have given you trauma, and you're not yet ready to share those things. But I feel as though the King of Pentacles is trying to pull that out of you, trying to coax that out of you. And um, what I do know about Pisces is Pisces is very... Um, um, is very slow to share information. So I feel as though there's something that you're protecting behind that door. You are not yet ready to um, to speak to someone about it. So you're feeling defensive because I feel like this King of Pentacles has been sort of, um, you know, poking around trying to find out more information about you. Now, the King of Pentacles is, um, is Earth energy. So that is Taurus um, Virgo or Capricorn, and the wands are fire energy, which is um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I feel as though um, the king is trying to coax some information out of you, and you're trying to really hard to hide that hide that information, that idea, whatever it is, something that might that you feel people might look down on you for or feel as though you will feel less than if that person, uh, if people find out about the secret that you're protecting behind the door. Um, I feel like it is your hopes um, and your wishes to heal. And I feel as though you are trying to um, keep this thing behind the door because you haven't healed from it yet. And, oh, yeah, I just saw a waterfall. I feel like, um, I feel like that if you open the floodgates. That's what I saw. Open the floodgates. The water's just going to fall out. You're going to start um, uh, to feel sad about it. And you feel as though if you start crying, you'll never stop. So I feel like um, there is some healing to do here, some really tough healing. And um, it is uh, behind this door. I feel like whatever trauma you have um, you've gone through and you've not shared that that is behind that door and that you really do wish to heal from it. But Pisces, if you don't share it, you can't heal from it. So you need to share it with someone who can give you advice, psychologist, psychiatrist, someone who is in the field that can give you advice about this thing that you're hiding. Now, I feel like you have someone who, who might be looking at you with adoration, this King of Pentacles doesn't have to be an earth sign, but I feel like they have a good stature in life, they're very financially stable, um, that they're looking at you and wishing they could come closer. Wishing that they could get closer to you, but they can't because you're in this defense mode trying to hide whatever it is behind the door. Um, looking at uh, the future here, I do see that you are going to speak your words. You are going to speak up here. Now, the King of Swords is someone who speaks his truth. He also is someone who is, um, you know, like a lawyer or um, a police officer or someone of authority. So, um, they, uh, the, the King of Swords is someone who speaks his truth, someone who always speaks his true words. Now, his um, sword is down, which tells me that um, it is... It isn't going to be anything against anyone that's going to cut someone out, that there's going to be harsh words, you know, any nothing like that. But I feel as though you have something to say and that you are going to say it and it's coming. It's coming in the future. And I believe that when you do finally tell um, what's behind the door, you finally um, look at your trauma head on, that you will... Um, go from the chaos to the calm. Now, we see her in a boat. You know, there's ripples in the water. She is calmly and quietly, by cloak of night, going with all of the things that she has learned here. These are all communications and connections she's had, all the knowledge that she's learned, and she's going away by night. I feel like you keep running away from relationships or pushing people away in relationships, and you're wondering why it's not your turn, why you can't fall in love, why 
why, why? But I believe that what is holding you back is this trauma. And um, at the uh, at the end of the reading here, what I see is the Five of Cups. Now, there is love here, but, you know, the sadness that I see here is not for anyone else but you. I feel as though you can't see the love for yourself. That's what I feel. So I feel like it's really necessary that you face your shadow side, that you really... Um, ask for inspiration from spirit and that you make some necessary sacrifices in your life in order to uh, be able to move forward because I feel whoever I am, whosever energy I am connecting with today is a bit sad and although they don't show it on the outside, it's on the inside. Um, they feel as though people can see these scars on the outside, so they pretend to be happy. You know, it's the it's the smile with the dead eyes, or, you know, it's, um, it's um, you know, a few drinks with friends and trying to make jokes, but, you know, in the end, you go home and you cry yourself to sleep. I feel like, you know, this person um, has has this that is poured poured out in their life, this emotion. And this person is praying for, you know, for forgiveness, to forgive give themselves enough, to forgive themselves enough to be able to love themselves, to be able to turn around and see those two cups. Wow. Yeah, and you won't speak it. You won't speak it. You're scared to speak it. And I believe that this Two of Swords, along with the Seven of Wands, is your energetic block. You don't want to speak it. You're hiding it behind the door. I feel as though you identify with the trauma so much that you feel as though you are the trauma. That who you're really protecting behind the door is you who you really are because you feel as though if you do make a choice and do speak up um, do speak up here I feel as though you feel that people will will view you differently it's okay to have trauma you know it's okay to have something that you haven't figured out yet it's okay to have these feelings but it's not okay to pretend you're happy when you're not I've never ever subscribed to that it's not okay to be happy when you're not when you're not you need to look in the mirror figure out what the problem is what's hiding behind the door why don't you want to make a decision why are you afraid of the knight of swords coming in and and um and uh, speaking, um, perhaps speaking your truth, what are you going to do with that if that does happen? Um, you do want to go from the chaos to the calm, but I feel as though you have to learn to love yourself first. And I don't think you have done that yet. Now, if you don't... Um, identify with this reading this is not your reading so you know you can go ahead and tell me that it's not your reading I don't need to know that if it's not your reading you don't really need to comment but um, um, if this doesn't look familiar to you this this isn't your reading um, I am yeah I'm feeling sadness for whoever this reading is for now this Queen of Cups up in the left corner here she does look worried she is trying to get someone to accept her cup to me almost looks as though she's desperately trying to get someone to um, to accept her cup and her energetic block just won't allow it and she's really scared that someone is going to come in by surprise and start blurting out all of her secrets um, and try to make conversation about it and it scares her that uh, people could could be able to find out the things that she's been keeping hidden for so very long to appear to the rest of the world as though she is all together um, and you know I keep saying she I feel like it is a female but I mean this could this would resonate for a male as well but um, I feel like if it does resonate <laughs> does resonate for a male that it's going to be someone who strongly identifies with their female um, divine female side so um, let's talk a bit more about this here um, yeah um, 
you'd rather run away. You'd rather run away than actually tell people what's going on. Um, and I feel like you've been doing that over and over and over again in your relationships that maybe you've had failed marriages and failed relationships, failed unions, um, whatever they are. I feel like you've had them one after the other after the other and you're saying, why am I so unlovable? But I think you feel as though you're unlovable. And until you love yourself, until you deal, you face that shadow side, you are not going to be able to be happy. Um, you are very passionate and you really do want to have this kind of passion in your life. But while these blocks are here, you are not going to be able to get close enough to anybody to be able to share these things um, until you decide to heal. And this star card is the only major arcana card on the board here. And that tells me that that is the one thing that you need to work on, Pisces. The one thing you need to work on is healing. And if you don't get that healing, if you don't face that shadow side and get some healing through someone who can maybe specialize in that and help you with it, that you're not going to be able to let that go. And that is what is standing in the way of you and your happiness. All right. So let's start with the Queen of Cups. What is the Queen of Cups so worried about? Why does she look so worried, sad? Why won't anyone take her cup? Why does she keep running away? Why is she having energetic blocks? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Wow, these cards are thinking hard. I gave them lots of questions. <laughs> That's too many. Queen of Cups. Can you please tell me more about the Queen of Cups? Thank you. Okay, so the Queen of Cups appears to everyone as though she has it all together. She appears to everyone as though she is the Queen of Wands. She's got it all together. She looks good. She smells good. She dresses nice. Her hair is great. Wears perfect makeup. And this is the masquerade, unfortunately. I feel like I see... Um, you know, this to me looks like a Halloween card. She's dressed in orange and red. Um, she has a crow. She has a couple of um, statues at her left and her right. I feel as though this is almost a card of Halloween. I feel like that you put on this um, this show for everybody um, looking perfect on the outside so they won't see the brokenness on the inside. Um, it could have been something that you're dealing with currently or previously with someone who is an Aries. So someone is breaking you down, Pisces. Someone has um, taken control or is trying to take control of who you are and is trying to sort of bark orders at you. I feel like the emperor here um, means well, but the emperor can do nothing but be the leader. So the emperor is trying to lead you to somewhere that you don't want to go. Um, and he, the emperor, does not know about your, you know, your brokenness, the, the, um, the sadness that you're hiding behind the door, because even though the emperor Aries, I believe, could be your person, you're pushing him away. You keep pushing the emperor away because you are wanting to hide, continue to hide the trauma without fixing it. Then we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is your wish is fulfilled, is that your emperor would understand you, um, would just give you um, at face value, just let you do the things that you want to do and not question them. But that's not how a relationship works. A uh, relationship works when you share and communicate with each other. That's what the swords are for, right? When you share and communicate, that is what, a re what brings a relationship together. You will always be at odds with the person that you are with if you don't get help for your trauma. You are constantly in the Eight of Swords energy, feeling like any way that you move, you could get cut because these, all of these are the trauma. All of these swords here, this is the trauma. You have so much of it around you um, that you feel as though you could get cut no matter which way you move, you could get cut and you have the, the knowledge and the know-how to be able to get out of um, this eight of swords, but you're not getting the professional help that you need to get out of it. And so you, here you are, um, stuck in your trauma. 
And when I say trauma, it could be someone who verbally abused you, someone who physically abused you. It could be someone who treated you awful, a friend, a foe. Um, it could be a parent or an adult of some kind. Um, it really doesn't matter who that person is and what their walk of life or station in life is. They could have hurt you in the past, present. You know, it doesn't really matter. Why is the Two of Swords here? What are we blocking here? Don't want to see what? What is it that Pisces does not want to see? Pisces does not want to see. Pisces does not want to see that there is a lot of there's a lot of legal issues in the background. There is a lot of there's a lot of things that need to be said that can't be said at this time that you don't want to look at them. You don't want to look at these things that need to be talked about. Blindfold is on, you know, you're, you're closed off, and um, although the King of Swords is here and is the person who um, does speak his truth, you'll see his sword is down, he is being protected by this, um, it looks like a dragon or a lizard, and I believe that it's, it, it almost feels to me as though this dragon here is watching over the King of Swords to be sure that he doesn't really say more than he's supposed to. That um, I feel at this point it's not a friend but a foe, someone who's really not on on the on the side of the King of Swords. And then we have yeah whatever it was happened in the past. So it could have happened in your childhood. It could have happened in another relationship. You were. In the devil energy so you felt that you couldn't get away that you were prisoner you could have been prisoner to a relationship something someone was angry angry around you um, I feel like there was physical abuse I feel like you felt trapped and you couldn't get away and that is what the devil energy is about and I feel like it happened in the past you really do want to drop these burdens now um, the nine of wands is you know um, the Nine of Wands is feeling the burdens, is feeling closed off. The Ten of Wands tells me that you really do want to drop the burdens, that you still, even though you want to drop the burdens, you can see your eyes are covered, you still don't want to face whatever it was that happened and caused this major tower in your life. I believe this tower, you still feel it to this day, and it's getting in the way of your relationships. Now, now I see why it terrifies you when the Knight of Swords comes around because the Knight of Swords is uh, someone who will just kind of blurt out, um, you know, the information that is needed, um, the information that is needed for, um, to be able to clear these things up for you or to be able to find people to help. Now, you know what I'm going to do is because the tower's here, going to ask for more information. I just want to know, what is this tower about here? Can you give, please give me more information on the tower? More information on the tower, please. What can you tell me about the tower, please, Spirit? Michael? Shamil, what can you please tell me about this tower? Any information about this tower, please? All right. So you moved away from somewhere. You were living in chaos for quite some time. This is a Six of Swords. You were living in chaos and you had to move. You had to run away. You had to get away by the cloak of night. You know, with uh, it dark at night, you may have packed a bag and just ran. Feel like I see running through a field with the kids trying to find someone to help, maybe the neighbor, the next neighbor. Um, then I see here that we have, you know, sadness. Um, and although this sadness um, didn't, didn't prevent you from living your life and moving forward, you still carry the sadness. I feel like you still carry the sadness and the fear of what went on in the past. Anything else about the tower, please? Anything else about the tower? Yeah, again, dropping burdens. 
Okay, so we're not going to get too, too much more information about the tower, but I feel like it's something that's happened in the past and you still haven't gotten treatment for that trauma. Whatever it was, I feel as though you had to run, um, whether you ran alone or had some kids, um, but you did have to run. Uh, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling very defensive about the night of... Uh, the night of of um, sword showing up on the scene because you know that it's it's a surprise and it can be blurted out. The seven of wands is you again. That's this is the seven of wands, right? Um, the seven of wands, which is at the center of everything here. The seven of wands is you feeling defensive about this um, knight of uh, sword showing up. Uh, unannounced and just kind of blurting out information because you're not sure what he's going to blurt out. He may just tell you that someone wants to have a new start with you or that it's okay for you to have a new start by being honest with yourself, honest with your partner, honest with your friends, honest with the people around you that you really are struggling. And um, you can have that new start, Pisces, if you... Um, if you are honest with the people around you. Uh, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is actually looking your way and wanting to have some sort of a relationship with you. They want to bring you gifts, they want to take you out for dinner, but I feel as though this defensiveness is in the way. Um, this uh, Seven of Wands is in the way. We have the Ten of Cups. This could definitely be a Ten of Cups relationship with this energy that is the uh, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, of course, is very financially stable, right? But again, the King is feeling like you're pushing him away. And um, if you could just be honest with yourself and uh, honest with others and realize that it's okay to be who you are, that the scars that you carry, um, you know, they don't mean that you've been hurt. They mean that you've survived, that you're a survivor. Um, Seven of Wands is uh, being clarified by the Chariot. You really would um, like to just run away. And I think that's the theme of this reading here, that whenever something gets tough for you, um, Pisces, instead of talking about it, you just run away. You push the person away, you tell them it's all their fault, and then you just keep moving to the next relationship. And you are quite... Um, you are quite intuitive, of course, because, you know, Pisces is water. Water is a conductor of energy, and you feel the vibrations of others. You know that there is this thing that you're hiding, and you're trying to get through it by just being spiritual. Well, I'm telling you that there is some trauma, and I know from from my own life that there is trauma that not that spirituality can't even heal. You need to find someone that is uh, in the business of healing people in order to be able to, to actually get healed. And then we have temperance. All you want is to be able to have, be even-tempered. You want to stop at the arguing and the fighting and the being defensive because really what happens is someone comes towards you and wants to love you and you push them away because you have all of this junk going on here that they don't know about. So it's time for you to get healed. Why is the star here, please? Star? Why is the star here? Ah. Now, after the healing, you can have success. Success is yours in this life. When you, uh, when and after you get healing, think it over, think it through, try to find every possible way um, to look at it before you make your decision about how you're going to heal. You do need to walk away from this trauma. You need to heal it and walk away from it and leave it there. And only then the universe has come through to say that you will find true love because you can only find true love if you love yourself. So we have, you know, um, we have a, a, a soulmate couple here, a soulmate or twin flame couple here. It is possible for you two to be one, for him to be your king and you to be his queen and all the rest of it, but it can't happen until, until you heal this trauma. It will not happen. You'll keep going from relationship to relationship to relationship uh, without having um, healed yourself and you know that's the way you'll continue to move until you finally you know it takes you down to the ground and you finally um, do come forward to someone who can help 
Um, the King of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords. So uh, the Page of Swords is someone who wants to speak with you. Could definitely be someone who is on social media watching you. Um, it could be the person that you're currently pushing away. And then we have the wheel. So everything's willing to turn in your favor come in the future, but you're not going to be able to feel all of that, uh, of the benefits of the wheel of fortune if you don't um, heal that trauma. Um, the trauma is has become an energetic block and you've chosen to, to ignore it and just try and carry on. And, and you know what? Unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. Why is the six of swords here, please? Six of swords is here because of death. Yeah, you want to stop running. Look. You want to stop the running from going from the six the six of swords to death. You just want to stop the running, having to go from the chaos to the calm, running from one relationship to the next marriage to the next marriage to the next marriage. It's time for you to heal and it's time for you to stop running. Five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? Five of cups is here. Yeah, because you're stalled. You're in a stasis of stall. Your energy is stagnant. You're waiting for it to go away, and it's not going away, Pisces. It's something that you have to do. You have to face your shadows and clean them up. So the Seven of Pentacles is about waiting, waiting for your... Um, for uh, your time, waiting for your harvest, and you can have that, but you um, you do have to go into hermit mode, figure out what you're going to do, figure out who you're going to do that with. The Knight of Swords is going to show up and bust everything wide open, and that's what terrifies you. And you know what? It may be in the midst of an engagement. Maybe you're engaged to someone who you're not being honest with, who you're not sharing the trauma with, who you're not asking for help, and this is what is terrifying you here. This Knight of Swords is going to show up and just, you know, give all that information that you've been hiding behind the door, and this engagement that you have here will not turn into a marriage. So, I don't know what you're hiding behind, what sort of uh, face you're hiding behind, but I feel like sadness is what you feel. And um, you do have to make the necessary changes and find inspiration to face those shadows. I suggest you do it with a professional. We have a lot of stuff going on, you guys. We have not only life issues, but we do have pandemic. There's so much stuff that's coming to the surface. Be strong. Be strong and make sure that you heal yourself completely because you will just keep running and running and running. Yeah. It's a journey. It's a journey that you have to take in order to have balance, right? In order to have a new start waiting at the crossroads, in order to um, do anything in your life, you do have to go on this journey of healing. Um, or you're just not, not going to ever be truly happy in this life. Indecision. You don't know what to do at this point. You want to work hard. You want to get through it. You don't want to face all of this. Your back is to everyone that you know. You're you're ignoring the people in your life. They're noticing that you are, you know, arguing and fighting and 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 um, uh, maybe you know just not able to hold on to relationships and friendships. They see it, but you are hiding from everything that could be um, the thing that could heal you. It's indecision um, about the ad admitting that you were actually hurt and trauma from the thing that went on in the past. You have someone waiting for you. In fact, you probably have someone in your life right now who is waiting, waiting to be your husband, your wife, waiting to be your forever partner, but they're scared. They're scared because they see all this stuff here and they know that there's something going on that you're not talking about. The sun has come to shine. You know, things grow under the sun. There is a lot of growth under the sun. There's so much growth that um, you would be um, you would be able to bring all of this to light and then be healed by it. And blossoming abundance is what you're headed for. Blossoming abundance is what happens when you are actually honest with yourself, you face your shadows, you find the inspiration to make the necessary sacrifices to be able to, yeah, to be able to um, um, 
to be able to have the let me think um, the to be able to have the guidance that you need uh, to move forward. Now, um, Archangel Shamuel is one of the ones that I ask for guidance, right? I ask, I ask Archangel Michael for guidance and um, ask Archangel Shamuel for understanding. This is the Archangel Shamuel that I speak with when, or, or that I ask things of at the beginning of the readings when I'm blessing the cards. I ask Archangel Michael for his under, or for his guidance through this reading and Archangel Shamuel to come and help me with understanding. So um, that's exactly what you need, Pisces. Um, I'm really sorry if this is you, but I do know coming from a life that was very full of trauma, that it's possible for you to live a life that is happy and lovely and wonderful and being you is the best thing that you could be no matter what your past is no matter what your trauma was or how it happened or why it happened you need to be honest with yourself in order to be able to move forward in this life all right pisces that's all i have for you today thank you very much for coming by thank you for clicking here and watching this video i hope you'll give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the content please leave me comments down below if this does resonate with you i'd really love to know um you know if if it resonates with any of you and if it does it's always good to bring it out and talk about it within our group because there's so many people who have gone through this or are currently going through this that you might be able to um you know have conversations with and you might be able to heal each other all right, I'm going to go. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.